Hello everyone. I know you guys watched the game last night and you had the same stuff going through your mind that I had going through my mind. I uh, wish we had a defense like the Jets. I wish we could find a kicker like Nick Folk. I wish we had an offensive line like the Jets. All that stuff going through your mind, you know. So, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you. Because if that, if we had a line like this and that defense, and our defense held, you know, secondary with Cromartie doing that stuff, boy, we with our offense. Alright, but um I'm a little tempered now with my with my um prediction over the Vikings simply because they're in the same type situation we were. I, under, I underestimated the Jets a little bit. I thought the emotion of the new acquisition over in Minnesota was gonna take them over the hump and you saw how the emotion of it when it happened, how it started getting getting them rolling. I thought that would 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 take over, but the Jets are just good. The Jets had them shook. The Jets were knocking the crap out of Brett Favre. Had him walking around with his arm going. Uh, you know, I mean, whew, the Jets are good. That's that's the main thing I came away with that game with. with uh, people were calling them the best team in the AFC. I see they even lost to to the Ravens, but. I think they probably are. I hadn't watched as much AFC football as I watched NFC football because I need to know, you know, more about the NFC teams. But uh, from what I'm seeing, the Jets look like they're the best over there. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? We do have Asher Allen. That's our. That's our one. If we can isolate Rand, uh, um, uh, Freudian slip. Almost called uh, Miles Austin, Randy Moss. Ha! Ah! But when. <laughs> If we can get Miles Austin on Asher Allen or Dez, if he's healthy on Asher Allen, we could probably work Asher Allen for third downs and things of that sort. You know, when we need some yards, we'll we'll go over there for sure. So that is a that's a good tactic because if Cedric Griffin, when he he went down, he was like you know, he when he went down, he was he looked like it was over for the season. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I wish I don't wish he's gone. I wish he. he the best for him, but if if he's out, then Asher Allen's going to be the one man in that corner, and we can we can take him. That that would be the one chink in their armor, the defense, because the running back, boy, LT is a beast. He is a beast. I've never seen him run this good back in the day. I mean, he was that 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 cut when he cut, jab cuts you. Ooh. -hoo. We need to open up some lanes and let Felix do his thing. Felix ain't got that cut like that, but if you open up some lanes and let him get through, he can take off. But I don't think nobody got that cut like that. And Adrian Peterson, we're going to see him next week. Did y'all see him punch Revis and take him off the ground with one hand? I mean, he just hit him and lifted him up. And, ooh, we got him next week. We got him next week. All right, and one last thing. Uh, Jen Engel wrote an article about Tony Romo. And I, you know, I've done Jen Eagle. I did the cap cupcake thing on her article before, but I didn't read it. But people were telling me that it, uh, that she had um, talked to some players that said Tony Romo doesn't isn't held accountable. And when someone told me that, I got it like that. I was like, oh wow, because me doing these videos, I can't say a thing about Tony Romo. If I say one bad thing about Tony Romo, fan base eats me alive. It's not Tony's fault. It's not Tony's fault. Uh, even if, if I say Tony should have um, done something on one play in the third, qu in the third quarter and it would have made us do something, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't Tony's fault. I said, who's blaming the whole world on Tony Romo? But that's the whole thing. Anytime, and I think it has something to do with early in his career, he got a, a, a whole bunch of blame when he didn't, he didn't deserve all the blame. So uh, I think now, it, well, now it's like a uh, it's like a reactionary thing of too much, you know. Uh, he didn't do it. It wasn't his fault. It, it, there, I don't think a quarterback can get better that way. A quarterback's got to take get yelled at too. A quarterback got to be scared, you know. Sometimes they'll get punched in the face when they come to to the sidelines. Last night, Mark Sanchez was scared of the coach. Brett Favre thinks he's own he owns his coach. You saw the problems there, Brett Favre. Uh, did something to get against his coach when he called that timeout and went for two points. Brett Favre did that shit of those stuff on Brett Favre, and and Brad Childress was mad, and that came up 
again at the end of the game when Minnesota didn't have no more time timeouts, if the Jets didn't mess up like they did with their with, with their clock management with stupidity, you know, stupid. If the Jets didn't mess up like that, Favre wouldn't have had that last chance. So he Favre was lucky that the Jets messed up, you know. But you got to, you got to have some kind of respect or fear of your coach, and and there. I don't know. I don't know if they have any fear for for Wade. I know for sure you don't have any fear for Wade, but the respect, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if that's going on there. So there's a disconnect somewhere in our organization, and it's causing a plethora of problems. There's, as I said before, there's no way to look at the situation as we have before and evaluate and said this is the problem. This person is the problem. That person is the problem. Blah 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 blah. It's no way to do all that right now. You know, I, people want Wade gone. I want Wade fires, fired. I don't want to see this roster uh, on the defense. I don't want to see this roster with another coach. These are Wade Phillips guys. These are the Oshanskys. These are uh, Keith Brooking. In another system, they might not be nearly as good. You know what I'm saying? So I, Wade is, we're all in with Wade, you know. It's, we bring Cowher in, he's going to say, man, I can't use that guy in my system because I need my guy to be a professional quarterback because I need to get my linebacker out there. These ends aren't, they don't put pressure on quarterbacks. You know, we have to bring it with the linebackers. That's why we blitz every single down. When you're looking at the TV, you say, why are we blitzing so much? We're blitzing every single down because that's the only way we can get pressure on a quarterback, either through the middle with Rat or to the outsides with either Spencer or Ware. I don't know where I am right now, but I just spilled a whole bunch of information. I guess football season is starting for me. All right, well, the whole thing, I just totally get the, the Tony Romo doesn't get uh, – doesn't get called out for stuff he does because there were there was uh, there was some things I wanted to say in my video after the game that Tony Romo should have done or Tony Romo did wrong or if Tony Romo wants to get to another level he can do blah 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 but I just boom because I know if after a game I say one thing about Tony Romo the audience on that end are gonna think I put the whole world on Tony Romo so I just shut up because I don't want to deal with it no more. I don't want to deal with it no more. I don't. I have I have issues with Tony Romo. I think he needs to do some things to get to take his game from here to here. Yards don't do nothing for me. Yards yards mean at I I've lived through enough Cowboys quarterbacks to know what yards mean. Troy Aikman yards was nothing to him. He's so low on the yards scale is pitiful. But he got them rings. And guess who's lower than him? Roger Stallback, he don't have that many yards. You know what I'm saying? And he and he's got Super Bowl rings. Danny White got more yards than both of them. And those who lived through the Danny White era understand. That's how I leave it. All right, holla.